Hey, I wanted to give you a small update about my GitHub repository situation or my uh, content. And um, because some people complained about that my GitHub is pretty big, um, it's basically 1.7 gigabytes in size, and I made some changes. I removed the samples folder and the contact patches folder. So now it's only one gigabyte in size, much, much smaller. And um, because it only um, uh, contains Bitwig presets, you can uh, basically clone it directly into your Bitwig library and have new presets every week from me. And um, yeah, maybe in the future I also uh, split the repository into different versions. So we have a repository for one, Bitwig 1, 2 and 3 and so on. But for now it's, it's, um, it's that way. Um, yeah, that's the update to my GitHub repository. And the second one is to the Bitwig presets repository. And I renamed it. I renamed it to Bitwig community presets. And if you have a local um, clone of that repository, you may uh, update your local clone. And I made this change because I wanted a more, more dif different, different naming um, to make it clear that these are not my presets, these are presets from the community itself. And uh, the monthly Bitwig competition is not very active at the moment, but I plan to add a bot to the Discord chat, where you basically go into a chat room, upload your preset, and you can discuss there about the preset, but this preset upload will be automatically added to this um, um, to this uh, repository. So um, this will be a change in the future, but the bot is not there yet, but uh, for in the future it may come pretty soon. And the uh, third change is I made also a change to the preset party app, which is the application you can use as a standalone application for your computer and where you can basically update all the, the repositories or your local copies of the repositories. Um, and this is how it looks like. And there is an and binary for Linux and Mac OS and Windows. And when you install it, it looks like this. And at the first uh, start, you have uh, for the path here, always your standard Bitwig library. So in the case of Mac OS, it's users, then your username, documents, Bitwigs, presets, library presets, and, and so on. And um, in my case, I have my libraries in a different directory. So when you go to Bitwig, into the settings here, and look at uh, yeah, settings locations, under my library, you can see I have my Bitwig library in a different directory and on a different drive. It's volumes producing presets Bitwig library. And I want to clone the GitHub repositories di directly into this library. So I have to make a change to this path here with this button. And then you go to producing presets, Bitwig, um, Bitwig library presets, and then I select open. And I change this path here. And all I have to do now is if you look at the, the sisters directory, um, if you look now when I hit download here, it will be uh, automatically created local copy of this GitHub uh, repository. And you have all your presets in that, inside there. And uh, the initial download is maybe a bit uh, longer because you download the complete um, repository. But the follow up downloads, when you always just want to make an update, they are pretty uh, much more faster because you on, only download the changes made um, to the repository. And if you download my Bitwig Polarity Tools um, repository, for instance, the first download is pretty long because it's one gigabyte. And um, yeah, but the uh, following up updates are pretty uh, much more faster. And you can see I already have here some um, 
some additional uh, repositories added by style mistake and jrelo and cyanide and if you want to have your github repository inside this app then just mail me or write me a message here on youtube or on github and it will be added soon so um, the big benefit of this app is when you use um, the, the directory inside the Bitwig library that all the changes you you download are instantly available inside the GitHub, uh, inside uh, Bitwig. So you have all your presets basically ready in no time. You open the standalone app hit download, it's updated, then you go back into Bitwig and you have your presets inside here. So there's no downloading and figuring out which directory and so on. It's pretty fast, it's pretty easy, straightforward. And I also need your feedback about this app, what you want to have inside this app, which uh, repositories to add. And um, if it works on your computer or your system, tell me everything, I need to know. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can also see I have some made some interesting links at the top so you can um, basically instantly join Discord here with a click and go to your Bitwig account. And um, yeah, that's the update about this app. And something, if I have more changes, no, no, I think that's, that's it. Yeah, I close down this video here. Give me the feedback. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video and bye.